Hi everyone, welcome back. What I want to do is I want to place my IC705 in a weatherproof protective case. This one's the Apache 2800 where I got it at Harbor Freight. They're usually on sale or you can use their coupon. Dimensions for the Apache 2800 is 11 7 8 inches by 9 inches by 5 it says five, oh, 5 and 5 16 of an inch so it's pretty compact uh, very rugged plastic has a handle the clips are really um, sturdy and you can also uh, put a lock on this it has a lot of foam in there, um, so you can modify it to your liking. The one thing that I did modify from the outside is I got rid of the knob because the metal does protrude inside the box, and I really didn't like that. I didn't want anything to get scratched. So there's a hole here, I found a plug, you can put a piece of tape or something to close it so no water will go in there. Okay, fine. Let's open it up and let me show you how I organized my IC705. Now, not only do I have the radio here, but I also wanted everything I need to go out into the field. That includes power, solar, antenna and also a, a way to mount the antenna and it's all here ready to go so um, one of the things that I did was I got rid of all the foam I wanted the the foam the bottom one to be underneath but these things get lifted too much I did leave the foam on the top part because that will kind of like hold this in place. Um, so, let's see what we got in here. Uh, we got the microphone. And one way that um, I sort of, are, are, you know, are able to organize this is by putting a rubber band. And you can use these bongo ties. I have them in the description at the bottom. They're very, very useful. So that's how I tie the microphone. And here I have a BioNO uh, battery. This is the uh, 12 volt 3 amp. This is uh, invaluable uh, for the radio so that I can get at least 10 watts if I need it. Um, and this will power the radio easily for five to six hours, depending on the usage. But we can get a little bit more with the solar panel, and I'll be showing you that. With the battery, I have the new Buddy Pole Power Mini 2. This is a solar controller. Um, not only that, it's able to manage my power. So here you plug in the battery, the blue uh, um, Anderson power pole for battery, then the solar panel right there, and then the loads. Uh, you can have two radios easily uh, connected to this. You, now, uh, with the um, ampage increased with the uh, Power Mini 2, you can also run a, um, a Raspberry Pi. Uh, with probably no issues. So, uh, Buddy Pole Power, uh, Power Mini 2, invaluable, so that I can power my devices. And then, if I want to deploy my antenna, I have all the things that I need to do that right here. So, I have a NFED, half wave from Nelson Antenna. This is an awesome um, 
transformer. I haven't had any issues with it. Actually, I have two. Uh, they're 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 great. I haven't had any issues, and they're reasonably um, um, inexpensive. And I'll leave the link in the bottom. I have the 14 ounce weaver, so that I can deploy it with a well, deploy the antenna right with um, uh, some paracord, nicely tied. I like these. These are from um, Soda Beam's um, website. And then um, I have my antenna. Uh, and it's it resonates perfectly at 40, 20, and 10. Um, and with the transformer, with well, you need the transformer. Now, why, how come 40? Because it has this um, coil that I created. Uh, the wire is from um, soda beams as well, and it'll handle 100 watts. So can the transformer. So that's also in there. That's ready to go. Then um, I have the solar panel. Uh, this one's the 5 watt version from Powerfilm. Uh, foldable. This is this is awesome. It uh, unfolds very nicely, uh, very compact, and um, easily deployable. Um, this will, it says right here it gives you uh, 0.3 amps. It, I mean, putting it directly, you know, like where the, <laughs> pointing at the sun, yes, it'll give you 0.3 and probably give you a little more than that, but usually you'll just leave it flat and it'll give you um, anywhere from 170 to 250 uh, milliamps, which is plenty to keep the battery uh, charged for the day. So solar panels, great. There is a 10 watt version that um, I'm keeping my eye on. Now, these you still can find at California Peripherals. I'll leave you the link in the bottom. And they're affordable. Okay, next thing here is a Husky bag. I had one of these laying around. And it seems like it's very useful for some wires. For example... Here is the power cord for the IC705. Uh, this one is for the solar panel. It has a Delphi connection on one end, and then it has Anderson power poles on the other. Uh, so this is great for the solar panel. Now, why so long? I think this is uh, 24 feet. The thing is, I want to be in the shade and the solar panels like extend it far away from um, from where I am, and that's where the power um, from the solar the solar power will power the bioeno. Okay, and this one's a little bit tight fit, but it does uh, get in there. This one is RG eight X um, coax one end has a um, one of these uh, chokes. This one goes on the radio side and this one goes on the uh, transformer. This one is 25 feet. Um, and the reason why it's long, it's depending on the who who you read and 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 you know, um, what you what research you've done, right? Um, my understanding is that uh, with these NFED half waves, you don't need a, um, a counterpoise that's on this side. The antenna itself would be a sufficient counterpoise. And so far, it's worked fine. I haven't had any issues 
with the radio. Okay, so that's the bag that goes with a lot of these cables and then the radio. Now this is um, a nice way to wrap your radio. Um, this is a dom key and dom key, um, dom key, yeah, dom key, I guess, um, wrap, protective wrap. Um, it it has um, felt on one side and a very nice soft material on the other. Uh, these uh, Velcros are not really rough. They're really uh, soft. And here you have the IC705 ready to go with the battery. So everything's all laid out here, ready to go into the box. So let's do that. Okay, so this donkey, or donkey, yeah, donkey, I guess, um, wrap is really nice. Now you have it here uh, as a square. I'm gonna put it as a diamond shape here. And there's some cushion in there. Um, I'm gonna put the radio facing me. There's a line over here. I'm gonna take it up just a little bit higher so that this point here will, will go over the radio and it'll cover this edge here and here, right? And then the other side has Velcro and then you just tape it there. You can make that look nice there on the other side. You can tape it, strap it, nice. And then this one goes all the way around and you got yourself a nice protective layer there. And with this, you can easily put it on your backpack. Um, if, if you need to do this, you know, put it in your backpack as an emergency or something. Um, it gives you enough protection. I mean, the screen is, is very important that you protect that. Now, putting, it, putting that in the case, I know the screen is here, so I'm going to put that where the handle is. And I always do that because when I'm holding it, I know that the screen is here and it's pretty protected uh, with the handle um, and this heavy duty plastic. So I got the, the radio there and then all these cables. This one's a little bit, you know, challenging a bit but it's manageable. Putting the cable in there. All right. Then cable for the solar. Nice. And then the power cable. which is also annoying if it's just laying around there. The Husky uh, zippers are really nice. You can get these in, um, oh, Home Depot. Uh, and then you might be able to find them in Amazon, uh, but really nice, flat, organized, okay? So we'll leave that there. So we have our solar panel and I like to leave it flat on the flat side here. I don't like to leave it like this uh, on where the connection is because there might be too much pressure and it might be, uh, might not handle it very well. Okay, and then I have my uh, antenna that goes there very nicely and my um, paracord okay 
Then I can put the battery. This is a bit annoying, but can't do anything about it. I'll put the battery here. I'll put the uh, power pole, um, power mini 2, the screen. I'll put it on the side of the battery so that it's protected there. Um, put the weight, I can put it here, uh, pretty snug there. Then the NFED, these are nice ties and you can find these on Amazon, I'll put them in the link. I use this to tie the, um, the transformer into a stick or something. It, uh, this protrudes a bit, so we have to find a way to make sure it doesn't get in the way. Okay, then let's put this in here. This is the zipper part, so I like to put that, all that, you know, like the metal part. I like to put it on the bottom. Okay, that seems to fit nicely. Um, and also, the transformer doesn't get in the way. And then the microphone, you put it into that little corner. Now, of course, you gotta keep and make sure that there's nothing like in this rim here. That's why I like to put the cables in the bag. And everything seems to be pretty secure. Didn't close it might feel some resistance a little bit and that's because this part is a little bit tall but it is manageable and you can squish it a little bit also if I didn't have this it can close way easier but I like to keep it here just in case if any of these things you know bounce around which they won't squeeze a little bit and it's locked and if you shake it, the only thing you can probably hear is the battery. Um, and that, of course, you can always uh, manage by putting some foam there if you want on the side here so it won't rattle. But overall, I think it's a pretty good orientation. Now, this compared to the lunchbox, you know, why have another, you know, go box? Well, a couple of things. I wasn't able to put the coil version of my antenna, nor my paracord, nor my big transformer as well. And then the cables too. Some of the cables weren't in there. Um, so it's a different configuration. It's a whole different uh, system. So this is definitely... Uh, something that I'm going to consider when going uh, on field day. Uh, this is going to be something that um, might be very accessible. I hope that was informative. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you soon. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.